What is up guys, it is your boy Jake yet again. This is a disclaimer video. If you do get offended for my content, there's the door. Don't let the door hit you with the good Lord split you. It's my opinion. If you don't like my opinion, get the fuck out of my stream. This is a disclaimer video. Thank you. Hey guys, what is up? Guys, how is everybody doing? What is up, guys? Happy Saturday. What's up, guys? How is everybody doing? Yeah, what's up, guys? You know, it's it's so funny that I'm here.
the the um, the um, The um, The Yeah, I'm not even want to talk to people. I am. What is up, guys? How is everybody doing? Bye. We don't have a goal. The goal is met because of the birthday stream, because of the Kevin Burner stream.
I hope everyone, hope every day, tell me about it, tell me about it. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything, I'm going my way. Mm -hmm. The first cut is the deepest. Yeah, 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 the deepest. What's up, Sunflower Dragon? How you doing, sweetheart? Welcome to the stream. Thank you, thank you. Hi. I had a great birthday. What? Pujo. Yo. I just sent someone a link to come on, Mr. Dave Sarah. Hope I had a I had a very good birthday. No, she knows. Listen, I'm not cut the. Listen. Dave. Is this the real Dave Sarah? Because I know there's a fake Dave Sarah going around. Mm. Yeah. Order. I sent you a link to come up, Dave. Let me check. All right, it's the real Dave.
No, Dave Sarah is part of the Dow. Is part of. I'm just I'm just streaming. By the way, if you look in the T-shirt shop, I did put a Fuck Rob Saul shirt because on the I did say that I was going to put one on the shop. Oh, someone's here. It is. It is. Is it, hey, what's up, Dave? Oh, hi, Jake. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the great Dave Sarah. How you doing? I, you know, I'm doing great, Jake. And I just want to say that, like, uh, most of the time, there's a lot of people that are faking being me coming in, in here and talking yeah. shit. I just want you to know, I've never watched a show before, ever. I, know, I just subscribe. I know I just subscribe to it. I mean, you're great. I'm not talk, trying to talk shit. I, I, I'm just I, I, hey, Dave, Dave, I get it. I, I know. You know, I get that you're a busy person and watch so <laughs> many shows. No. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> no, you, that's not true at all. Dave, listen, I'll, I, I I had a feeling it wasn't you when we talked about it before. I yeah. talked to you before about this on, on like no filter or uh, like all that. Yeah, so, Jason. Yeah, on uh, Jason's show, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and the thing is, it's like, but the thing is, it's like I I was watching in the I was in the ch I was in the chat, but I couldn't speak because Jason still has me blocked. Really, I you know what I think uh, as long as you don't spam, you shouldn't be blocked from any channels. I think that's really yeah, lame. I'm blocked from Shuli's channel, so. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh uh Op Greg Opie Hughes blocked me on Twitter. Greg Hughes blocked. Oh, me on, on Twitter. Twitter. Well, Twitter's it's a little different because you have to with Twitter. Here's the thing. <clears throat> I only uh like blocking people if they block me first because if I don't go back and block them also, then they can selectively like look at my shit, which I don't like. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, if they yeah. block you and you're not blocking them, that means they can just, like, okay, I want to see what he's going to say. I don't like that. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and here's the thing. I don't, you know, uh, I had Kevin Brennan on my show earlier this week. Really? Yeah. How did that go? It, it went actually, it went better than I thought. What did you think was gonna happen? He, he was just gonna do the, the do the whole Uzi saying "fuck you, Jake" and run out of here. No, no. If if he's gonna take the time to like actually do your show, I think he would be pretty respectful. Yeah, you know, and and the thing is, it's like, oh, you know, I don't I don't get why a lot. You know, let me rephrase this. I don't I don't know why I must. I, I'm just a small town boy. Why is all these people wanting to be 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 around me and stuff? Kevin Brennan, Bob Levy, and all that. I'm like, I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not a star. Um. Well, Jake. I mean, I'm a br brutally honest person. Yep. Uh, so I'll just leave it at that. It's just, here's the thing. It's like everybody that, you know, I, I, you know, I'm a big fan of Shuli, big fan of Levy, but there's people out there that don't want to be around me because of the Shuli stink. Because of the what? Because of the TSN, the, the smell of the TSN is on me now. Oh, Cause I, no. I, part I, of... Here's the thing, Jake. And this is a joke. Are you ready for the joke? Ready. All right. They don't want to be around you because of your eyes. It's fucking, <laughs> it's weird. No, I'm joking. No, but with the TSN stuff, I get that. And like, <laughs> I, I turned on, I turned on my camera to show you the eyes. 
I, by the way, this is Steve Wolkos. You ever heard of Steve Wolkos? <clears throat> no. He's a, Who's that? He was the head of he was the head of security for the Jerry Springer show back in the day. Oh yeah, I do remember that actually. Yeah, he. Um, I don't. You know, I don't. By the way, a uh, couple. Uh, by the way, uh, it's also. Uh, by the way, happy birthday, Gino Bobina, aka Debbie Dabbler's birthday is today. Hey, hey. Gino Bobina. She's a, she, it's also a, it's also a Electrifrize birthday today. Electrifrize. Oh, nice. D, D, DJ Electrifrize is birthday too. Nice. Very nice people. And also a couple of days ago was, uh, was Tiffany's birthday, Tiffany Washington's birthday. Oh, also nice people. Yeah. And then last Sunday was mine. So, but really? Not, Happy birthday, buddy. How old are you? I'm 31. Wow. Young. Nice. But but here, let me tell you something. They sure. the, and I watched I watched today. I watched uh, the Looney Band, and I hear them saying, "Oh, we thought he was older. We thought he was in his forties or his fifties or his sixties. You, yeah. They well, thought I, I mean, was you, in my your hair. Your hair is a little, you know, fucked up. It's a little fucked up. Yeah." I, I I let me tell you something. I have been, I have tried to keep like, you know, they people don't understand it is when you when you talk about me, it's they they talk about me a lot on that show. They think that it. Well, I mean, it's one thing to talk about somebody behind their back, and it's another thing to say something to somebody's face. Like in, I'm joking with you i would never say anything behind your back that i would i wouldn't say to your face as a joke yeah. so the more I, you know i mean like I, and again i don't want to offend anybody i'm not trying to be a prick but it's funny to me so i want to yeah. make sure that you're okay with it and I, I would never cross the line but like you know so but i would never just go on a podcast and be like oh right, jake hudson's fucking weird that's stupid who does that but they, 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 here's the thing. They're saying, oh, you know, here's the thing. I've done shows with Noel, and they're saying now that Noel showed her titties on one of the streams. Uh, Stinky in Noel. Uh, the, I don't know if you know her. No. She's a she's a person that came into the devil came not devil birth came into the no filter community mm. because it, it was just and then. And then she got a little taste, and then she's went into pe- people's channels that I know, went into Mirror Mirror's chat and Jacob Waters' chat and doing stuff. But I get now why people, I get now why a lot of people don't like Bobby Nick. And because sometimes he's, sometimes he's a manipulator. He's a manipulator. Sorry. Um. No, I mean, no, no, bro. Uh, no, um, I don't know Bobby Nick all that well. Uh, I can see manipulative. I mean, I'm sure he has an inner circle also. So, uh, look, here's the thing like when you're running a show, um, like Shuli and Bob Levy, and the, sometimes here's the thing like Joey C, right? Let's use Joey yeah. C as an example. I don't think they like Joey C. I think they want Joey C to be their next lol cow. That's what I think. Yeah. So like they're nice to him, but it's not genuine. I don't think. What do you think about Mr. Kill every on the work? Uh, I think he's boring. Mr. Yeah, he is. He's. The thing is, the reason why he, he's doing he a lot of people are doing that going on the shooting network just to get Kevin mad and Kevin. But Kevin, you know, here's the thing. Kevin is Kevin. The, a lot of people don't understand this. Kevin pays everybody. Yeah, he paid me when I went on. I, I forgot you went on uh, that show. Yeah, he uh, he asked me to come on a couple times after that too, and unfortunately I couldn't come on. Like, and <clears throat> with him, there's no. It's very last minute, kind of like you have to be checking your DMs to see, like, you know, if you're being invited. So it's tough for me. I mean, I live with my parents, 
So it's tough for me to kind of do that. Plus, he's on East Coast, so it's much earlier in the day for me. Um, yeah. but I like I like KB's show. I hate Stevie Lou, but I like I like KB's show. I like them all, honestly. Who is the who who doesn't like the who hate who does who likes TV? Nobody. Everybody doesn't like that guy. Well, I mean, I guess KB kind of likes Stevie Lou. Um but here's the thing. That, he came he came sorry, he came on my show to say he came on my show and told me that he did business with uh, a liar. He did a business with a liar. The king of guy Billy Mitchell. The who guy? He, oh yeah, I don't I don't know that. Billy. I don't know who that is. Dude, go look, go watch the documentary, The King of Kong. This guy, he said he got a one million point game and a game of a Pac Man. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I've seen that one actually. Uh, well, sort of by proxy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so he doesn't think. He did to, basic, basically, he he did business with it because of Eastside Dave. He did Eastside Dave. Oh show. right, that's right, that's right. Who is also a lol cow. Eastside Dave? Yeah. He's a Jocktober mark. Uh, uh, what what is your channel about if you don't mind me asking? Me? Oh, um, I do a podcast and um, I make some clips. It's just, I'm an open micer. So I, I've been doing open mics for... Yeah. Last eight years. Uh, have you ever worked? Uh, have you ever met? Uh, have you ever met the great Ray DeVito? Never met, but uh, I've been on the podcast with him a couple times. I like Ray. Ray DeVito is a he's he he is a uh, Mick Card uh, talent. Mick, here's the thing: I work in the. I used to be in the. I used to work in the wrestling business stuff. The main eventers are the guys that do the show, do the main card, mm. but main, not main card. The uh, mid card is like the is the people the that middles. go on for the middles, and then the jobbers are the ones that take the tickets out the door. Yeah, open micers. Mm. Open micers. Yeah, I wasn't gonna call. I wasn't calling you that. No, it's, I. Mean, I. I uh, I'll, I'll tell you a little, a little something. I actually never, before even jumping into the universe, I didn't even know who Opie and Anthony was. Oh, so you just discovered them, huh? Oh, did we lose you? Yeah, Opie and Anthony, I, you know, I'm a big Opie and Anthony guy. Been watching their stuff for years and years. Um during the pandemic, I went back and watched a lot of their stuff. And, actually, uh, thank- um, actually found them. Um, I'll tell you a little bit. Of, sorry, my internet is cutting out right now. Sorry. No, don't my, be sorry. my thing was I didn't. Need, I was a. I was more of a Howard fan. Sure. Started in 2020. I was. I watched the, one of the clips. I watched was Shuli. Shuli had a big beard at the time, and he was he was conducting a tour of hype of of HPE's apartment. apartment. Yeah, it was t- showing people where he was like, oh, and all that. But the thing is. I got to meet HP. I got to do shows with HPE, High Pitch Eric, because of mm-hmm. Lisa Jordana. Because of Lisa Jordana. Oh, wow. That that was a good. That wasn't that. Don't get me started on Lisa because that's one of the reasons why Still Toe doesn't like me is because of the whole Swatton incident. Yeah, I mean, I get all that. I mean, that that shouldn't yeah. lie on your shoulders, but um, because, yeah. But my name was used in my name and my email was used in it and and I'm doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But I want to ask this: What do you think about? They're saying that Aaron's getting charged with 
revenge porn. Uh, Kayla Morton, not Kayla Morton, Kayla. Damn it, I got I got Kayla Morton from Street Outlaws on the brain right now. Kayla Ricada. Yeah. Um. I don't obviously. I, obviously, I don't know what the laws are, so I don't know if it's like gonna stick. Um, revenge porn to me is more of a thing that like you know you release stuff publicly, but maybe because they're they did it on a public forum, like during a show, he like sent it to him live. Um, maybe that can be grounds for some kind of revenge porn. I don't know. I mean, the whole thing is weird. Like Aaron, that whole thing. I used to watch Steel Toe. Um, I I didn't mind it while I was passing the time in the mornings. But um, the thing is that, like, yeah, e-begging has always been frowned upon. So, like, I get how everybody turned on him. Um, and he's, you know, obviously the domestics and all the, and so you much know. more than just the e-begging. Um, it, it's a wild situation, and yeah. Sorry if I'm interrupting you. I just want to say this: number one, he when he was back when he was on the Twitch days, he was never asking for money like he was. He was only yeah. asking for he was only asking for and he basically got when he and then the last and then and then when he came to YouTube, you know, he wasn't fighting with YouTubers. He was fighting with like radio guys. He was going after Brent Hadley. He was going after uh, Mike Waters Manson from the Bubba Love Sponge Show. He yeah. was even fighting with Bob. He was fighting with Bob before. Yeah. Um, you know, Lemmy talks a lot about those early Twitch days and how fun the chat was, especially. And I get that. That's usually how I like to have a lot of fun, too. Um, yeah. But maybe there was a lot less pressure back then to make money. So. It was let me more. Say, free. I gotta say this when I let me is saying the same stuff I've been saying for a couple years. I've been saying the same stuff, and but I've been called an outcast because I've been talking about it. But she doesn't. She doesn't get called an outcast about it. Um, over, in what sense? Because I I I called Aaron out on his shit before. Let me. Oh, okay. I I was I was, I'm, I was there. Here's the thing, Lemmy. I love Lemmy. She's a big person. She's a very strong female. She can hold her own in this business. And and is what Aaron gave, but I don't get why why Aaron. She was the lead moder. She was she would do. Every Monday she would stream from six to seven. To but the thing is, one time she st she started her stream late because she forgot she had to start streaming. I, I, it was six o'clock my time. This was seven to eight when she streams, and I went at her at six forty seven forty and was like, "Are you streaming today?" And she's like, "Oh shit, I need to start streaming." Because she forgot she was not she needed to stream. I have a lot of respect for her. I have a lot of respect for Granny. I have a lot of respect for a lot of those people. I'm not gonna badmouth anybody over there. The only person I have not respect for is Aaron M. Holt. Aaron's on my shit list because of stuff that he's he's not my friend. He just used me like like Howard used Wendy and Gary. Wendy and Gary the, the R words. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So I'll say this. Uh, actually, one of the things that like made me stop liking Aaron uh, was he said something a couple years ago, which was uh, about like the Discord channel. He's like, I don't join the Discord channel. That's for the the fans. I don't need. To. And then apparently he, he didn't show up to some kind of like event. I'm like, dude, that's wrong. Like your fans, like you're not better than your fans. I'm sorry. He didn't show up to DabbleCon one. Well, no, not that. There's another one. There's like a, there was supposed to be like a fan event for Steel Toe that he didn't show up to. The, the only thing I know that he didn't show up for was for, by the way, thanks for following me on Twitter, Dave. Of course. I, I thought I was already following you. Sorry. Yeah. 
I, I, I get why people don't understand the the lore. You know what? You know what a hype train was? Yeah. A hype train, basically, you had to get five people to get bits and subs to start a hype train. Yeah. And, and the thing is, in, in if he goes to a certain level, it would be game over. for that, That's how they made, they made their money was on bits and subs back in the right. day. That's the reason why they had a bits and sub shirt. I actually do have two of the. I have the Twitch version and the YouTube version of No Longer Death Senate shirts. Uh oh. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Yeah. I I just want to say this. It's like I know that I know you're a busy person. I know. By the way, I put your description. By the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. It, I see you made uh, me a. You made my official account a moderator, which is good. Thank you. <laughs> so you know yeah. if it's me now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, dude, I got a lot of fakes. I, by the way, I, I got told the, the fake account told me to go fuck myself. Yeah, there's a a lot of I I mean, I, I, you know, I don't know exactly where they come from. I mean, I kind of do, but you know, whatever. Uh, here's the thing that. What's go up? Ahead. I was going to say real quick. I was, I'll, let me just say this real quick. Um, so a lot of this, like a lot of the trolling of me started when, um, you know, I'm, I run in these discord circles and a lot of them have like a sort of like a rule. There's like a clear line between clippers and guys as Melton calls it. I mean, like, Oh, you're part of no, uh, nobody likes on nobody likes the MLO boys. I I'm not. I was a stuttering John guy that got invited into sort of like their circle a little bit, and then I learned about all this. I like Melton. I've known about Melton for a long time. My co-host and uh, Melton have been friends for a long Who's time. Your Who's your co-host? Chris Neff. Uh, Chris Neff. He's a stand-up from LA. He started with, you know, uh, yeah. Ari Shafir and Sam Triple E, Jason, did, Jason did, Rouse. Did, 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 wait, did Ari get uh, get canceled back in uh, get canceled? I yeah, he said he, he said a, a, a joke about uh, 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 Kobe Bryant that got him in trouble. Oh, because no. that at the time, get canceled. Well, at the time he said the joke, he didn't know that his daughter had died in the crash. So it oh. looks bad. Yeah, uh, I, I I watched. You, you know who I, wa- I watched? I don't watch anymore because I don't like them. I used to watch Logan Paul's podcast. Okay. I mean, I uh, give me one second. Hold on, one second, one second, one second. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh oh. Hold on. Hold on. Uh oh. So, does anybody like jazz? Hey. I'm on. What's... What right, happened? Sorry. All right, sorry about that. All right, Logan Paul's puck. I mean, not bad. I've seen some decent ones from him. I, uh, I, I've watched Steve-O's podcast. Hmm. Yeah, Steve-O's I podcast. don't know. I mean, I like Steve podcast. I want. By the way, uh, uh, by the way, did you see who's going to be on the train wreck Monday? Was the train uh, wreck that, that reality show with Helga Man? That podcast well, with the get out of here, Bob Levy. Is really? Be on oh, Bob, Bob Levy. Levy. Oh, okay. I thought you said Steve-O was going to be on there. No, uh, ho- um, Bob Levy is going to be on Helga Mann's podcast. Okay, you know, okay, okay. Yeah, J- that's J- cool. J- you know J.J. I mean, J- 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 Dabbles? Uh, yeah, um, I'm not sure if I if it's the same person, but if that's the person who clips the Helga stuff, then yes, I do know that person. She, he's the producer. He's the producer. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. The- great guy. I yeah, see, great guy. Is, is, that a, is that a Dwight? 
I see behind you. Yes. <clears throat> yes. This is my Aaron M. Holt. Hello. I sell paper now because I can no longer have a radio show. Hello. I am Aaron Schrute. I sell paper. Hey, um, I, I, I get here. Let me tell you a little, little something. Tell me a little I something. Can tell, I, I used to have, I, I used to have the I had I used to have the rarest shirt of them all. The the reason why they had to get rid of two two springs, I had the the King Kong with the Hong Kong to play ping pong with his ding dong shirt. That's the rarest shirt in their universe. Is it's that a like a Tim, that, Pool, Tim Pool shirt? No, no, it's a Aaron M. Holt made this shirt, but his what his uh. Former, his uh, girlfriend at the time made it for him. Made made okay. the design. In hmm. April and April. I'm gonna say this out loud. April, say it out loud, baby. Person, April's a good person. April, but sometimes, see, when she went to YouTube, she came became a little bit of a cunt to people. Yeah, I mean, it changes you. Um, yeah. There's, I'm sure there's some redemption for her at some point. Like I get that, like Melton has been brutal on her and yeah. And that's the show for him. Um, for her personally, if I'm going to be real, you know, I feel bad for her. Um, I mean, I'm a drug addict, so I can't really talk shit. Like, uh, so uh, like I, you know, I can't really, I, I get it. And like, sometimes it can consume you and you get put in a position where it's difficult and you're married yeah. and you live in Minnesota and like, and, yeah. and, and, then, you know. and then, and then, and then in 2022 or 2023, lost some of their sponsorships. Right. Yeah. They and lost that definitely the did. Captain. And that definitely did change the show. Captain. Mm. They lost Old Cap Tavern. They lost a lot of their big sponsorships. Mm. They, they used to do they now. I think Raw. They use no Stonies, not Raleigh's. Jake, that's yeah, not, not yeah, Stonies. The one, they use the Stonies. The Cheetos pays them just to do shows, and their shows suck. They did a comedy yeah. show, and then one one of the people clipped it. Clips it for them. I hope I hope that I don't, I hope I don't offend you because I have a tendency of offending people. I'm unoffendable. Don't worry. Yeah, I I want to add. Um, I I don't want to. I really don't want to again. Um, do you mind? Would uh, do you mind if I ask what kind of drugs you were? Oh, um. <clears throat> I uh, mostly cocaine and uh, alcohol, cocaine and weed. It's mostly. I'm sorry for asking. Don't be I sorry. It's okay. okay. Everybody knows. I I work. Uh, the reason I'm scared to ask sometimes is because people don't want to talk about their addictions. People don't want to talk about what they're because we live in a world now that you know sometimes people you know I've seen people. Uh, OD on fentanyl and other big drugs. Yeah, I mean, luckily I've got I've got good connects, so I'm pretty safe from that. But I get you. I I, I don't I don't usually take drugs from strangers, but uh, yeah, I I totally get you. Yeah, I'll you, do some Molly too every once in a while. Whatever. MDMA, Whatever is around, MDMA? Oh yeah. Okay. And also, oh, yeah. that's also, also formerly also known as ecstasy too. If people don't know yeah, that, and, and, and also, um, I do have to say, give disclaimer that anything we're talking about is not is, it's entertainment purposes. Entertainment only. Entertainment purposes only. It's we're not okay. We're not telling to do yeah. it. We're not soliciting anything. Thank you. Yeah, I've. I've actually have had to the reason um, the re, sometimes because my people people I I have people that say shit where where did I did I delete it oh here it is your discretion is advised 
I have that. Hey, um, let me ask this question. Have you ever been to, have you been to, uh, uh, have you ever been to like, uh, the, there's a bar called Sir in Hollywood or Beverly Hills. I think it's ran by Lisa, sure. Lisa Vanderpump. Lisa Vanderpump. No. Oh, no, I've never been there. No, no, I don't go Lisa, to the trendy Lisa places. Van- um, you been? I I only. Oh. No, that's me. That was me. I did that. Don't worry about it. You're good. All right. Um, I want to ask this question: Have you ever been to uh, uh La Sorda's place? Not La Sorda. That comedy thing in Hollywood. Call, the Laugh comedy Factor. store. Oh, Laugh, Laugh Factory. Factory. Oh yeah, uh-huh. I've been to Laugh Factory a bunch of times. Laugh Factory, a comedy store, improv. Oh yeah, Freak, I'm a frequent visitor of those places. Um, I've done some. Yeah, Kill I've Tony. been on Kill Tony twice. Yeah, yeah. When he was in, when it was uh, one time when it, it was in L.A. and then one time at Antones, the first venue in Austin. Um, both performances were terrible. <laughs> yeah, um, I want to ask did you that they had a Dr. Phil lookalike on the on that show. Yeah, Adam Ray. I, I'm I'm a I'm a big Dr. Phil person. I've had people from Dr. Phil. I've actually had a person that was on Dr. Phil before. Oh, like a, the actual Dr. Phil? Yeah. Nice. I've had people that were that were on his show. Uh, I'll tell you about it. I'll I'll give you the name off camera because I don't want to dox the guy. But uh, you okay? Yeah. No, I'm fine. Yeah. How hot is it there? Um, I mean, it's yeah. I I live in LA. It's warm, but uh, you know the drugs don't help. But sure. <laughs> uh, what do you think about Randy Newman's "I Love LA"? The song. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, it's it's fine. I, it's um, I listen to a uh, like a a radio. There's I used to listen to this radio station all the time for sports talk that used their um, intro song yeah. used to be, I love LA. It was a uh, Mason in <laughs> Ireland. So, uh, yeah, I, 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 I watched, I watched um, one of my favorite, uh, I watched a lot of, I watched Baba Howard. I've listened to Tom Jordan morning show out in Dallas. Uh, Kid Craddock, uh, Ricky Smiley. I've been uh, right now. I've been list, been watching a little bit of The Breakfast Club over uh, okay. with uh, Charlotte God and all that. And and I've also been uh, I've been like I've uh, I've had El Teal Ed Teal from Chicago on my show. Ed, from Ed, okay. Ed Teal show. I've had him. I've had I've been I was on uh, the me Tom and Dan the corporate time with Tom and Dan podcast out in oh, Orlando. Nice. I'm sorry for name dropping a little here. Name no, I mean, I'm, I honestly, I, I like to hear it. I, I didn't know exactly, like I've heard your name for a long time, sort of like through the lens of the dabble verse, but I kind of, you know, you never, don't know my history. You don't know my history. Yeah, I don't really know the history. Yeah. I was on, I, I was on an episode of a uh, topic time with Harrison Young. Oh, hell yeah. I was on uh, Nas Redness podcast. I have one oh, of the dude. top clips on his channel. I've also been, you know, and I've been, you know, I'm been again. I want to try to see if I, you know, I and I am a big fan of radio. I think radio Same. didn't die. Radio didn't die. I think now there there's other ways to do radio. You have podcast form. You have other ways to do stuff. Instead of yeah. instead of going in the car and watching the radio, I listen to Rick and Bubba in the morning. Rick and Bubba show, Rick and Bubba live, Rick and Bubba. Uh, and yeah, I was a, I was a John Boy and Billy fan. My family, we all lived in radio. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a my father was a truck driver for 55 years, so there was times that we would listen to the radio. TV sometimes didn't want to work right, so radio was the one thing we listened to. <laughs> TV. Sorry. 
No, I was saying that's funny. TV didn't work right. Yeah. TV sometimes TV didn't want to work right because there was nothing good on TV. You had you you had basically if you wanted to watch something good, you had to like you have to see what the channel. Sometimes those channels didn't have anything good. You had to turn it to HGTV. Yeah, I mean, you know I, I grew up. I like. Uh, I grew up on radio. Also, Art Bell, um, Phil Hendry, yeah. um, Howard, of course. Opie, I got into Opie and Anthony probably like in '04. I was on the forums back then, even too, like in '06. Yeah. So I was I was doing all that stuff, and then um, main cow, yeah. main cow, um. I mean, a little bit is so a man cow is is Keld is is uh, no, Kelta, no, no, right? no, you, you think that's of head. Man, Okay, that's cow head. Okay, cow, man cow, head, man cow, man cow is in Chicago. He was a Chicago Did. guy that, yeah, cow head is, is Bubba's, is the guy that gave Bubba, six, yeah, yeah, uh, the Hogan State to Gawker. Yeah, yeah, right. So yeah, Cal. Uh, I listened to some Calta here and there, but not Cal, not Man Cal. Hey, Cal. hey, uh, he stream he streamed today on uh, on on his YouTube page. I, oh, so uh, I've I think uh, so. I haven't seen any of those, but I've seen some of the Scorch uh, videos that uh, Carl puts out of Scorch just yeah. failing on the internet. It's <laughs> so bad, dude. Yeah. For uh, I, and the thing is, it's like he and then he made a video today, talk uh, yesterday, yesterday on uh, Friday, talking about a podcast. The person's being arrested for uh, sexual assault. The, the male in that in that podcast, it was a Christian podcast about a poor. Uh, it's is the Christian is a cuck of a husband with a uh, anal queen of anal. I thought. By the way, Kate Meany is going to be mad about that because she's the queen of anal. Hell yeah, dude. Hell so yeah, I, baby. Hell by the yeah. way, uh, I, I had to make a Kate Meany joke. Sorry. I had Go to for make it. A Kate Meany's That's fine. I have no, uh, I'm not married to Kate Meany. It's fine. Uh, do you know that she's in rehab right now? No, I didn't hear that. But I, if that's true, I wish her the best. Honestly, just like with granny, like, um, you know, like I, I, that kind of stuff. Like, I don't really make fun of people for all that much. Like if I know them, I'll do that. I'll make my, fun uh, of them for it. Like, but if I don't know I, them, uh, I'm, I'm not doing that. I, um, me and the guys from BYB did a podcast, did, did, did a lot of podcast by the name of uh, Bob. Robert P. Robert P. died in October because he was oh, detoxing no. without medical help, and he. Oh he, man. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I'm glad Granny was able to come yeah. out of it on the other side, man. Like, you know. He's sober. Uh, apparently, apparently, he got through the detox and uh, he got through his little rehab. But you know, the hard part is. After all that, it's not, you know, the, the hard part's after. So he got through yeah. some of it, but now it's up to him to make sure. And so. All right. Um, and I, I'll say this out loud. is like, I've been sober for four years. Congratulations, and, man. And, and, and it's hard sometimes to kick that shit, kick alcohol. It's hard. Um, oh, I, I believe it. I mean, uh, I never really had like literal actual alcohol dependency. So I never like had the urge to like drink every day, but like I was doing some, I still do, you know, some kind of substance, yeah. whether it be, you know, weed or whatever, but yeah, it's tough. So I'm not, I'm not going to make fun of people that have been you able know, to get sober. You know, uh, by the way, you know, I've had, I've had Bob Levy on my show this week. Uh, uh, last uh, then I also had obnoxious John and also nice. had um Kevin. And now I have Dave Sarah. Great. Oh yeah, you're slowly going lower and lower and lower. By the end of the week. Yeah. 
Crankcase cabin says I've been clean from alcohol and crack for 14 months. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, and and a KK Calvin is um, a lot of people don't understand this. Um, was accused of breaking into Bubba Studio and oh shit! I I had an alcohol. I had a little bit of my dad. I um I did drink a little bit. I did drink a a little bit when we we had it. But when I quit, I quit because I didn't want to be like my dad and, and have to deal with liver, liver failure and kidney failure. And that's how he kind of lives liver failure and kidney failure because of alcohol. Yeah, man. And, yeah, it's and, nasty. And, 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 and I'll say out loud, it's, I, it wasn't, you know, I, I could drink a little bit, like beer, I could drink a little bit. and But one of the things that I had issues with is the, that's the, sometimes sometimes it's hard there was times on the stream where i drank the beer but i've not drank hard liquor mm. in four years I, I i don't think there's there's things that i could i don't drink a lot you see i don't drink a lot of times because i don't have the money for beer i don't have money to to go out and buy beer or or, or sometimes they leave someone leaves it here and i drink it because it, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want a beer to go waste. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you're you're uh, industrious. And don't want it to go waste and sit there and, and rot and sour. Uh, Dave, do, do, do you did you uh, one of my favorite things about uh, watching? I like. I remember when the Wings episode, Stutter and John's Wings episode. And Stutter and John, uh, it was Stutter and John versus Howard, and Stutter and John wanted Howard to promote his Wings episode. And Howard oh yeah, yeah. Um, and, and yeah, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to think back now. Continue. It was a, uh, uh, and then uh, uh, people called in, calling him, uh, calling him a loser, uh, calling uh, Stutter and John a loser, and then Gary comes in. And says, uh, says, you don't go to Howard, some of that stuff. Howard will tell you no. He said something. Because this was when he was having issues with NBC. This was when he was having issues with NBC and also with um, who's with uh, the head of NBC. What's the name of the head of NBC? Um, head of NBC? Brandon Turnikoff. Brandon Turnikoff. Turnikoff. <laughs> oh my god. I, I yeah. Yeah, you know, and, and I get and by the way, I watched the Save by the Bell episode when he was on there. Uh getting accused by, by of everything by Bubba made me famous in Tampa and Pesco County. Put these up. Hey. I went to Tampa for the WATP show in March. I I like Tampa. Oh, I mean, technically it was Largo. Um, Largo. I had a good time though. I thought it was a nice city. Did you meet? Did you meet? Did you, did you meet Joey? Did you meet Joey C? <clears throat> well, meeting is. I didn't really meet him. Uh, I saw him. He walked past me, and I said, um, "What's up, you stupid fucking fat fuck?" And then that was it. But um, I'm not a big Joey C fan. Window Lickers, Pusco County, trashy area. Uh oh, we got a hater. He, um, Sitka is work. I don't understand this. <laughs> Crack it, Calvin. Calvin. I can't. I can't say this. But I want to say that I do respect you know, and I, and I and I didn't think that that was the real you that was coming in chat myself because I know you don't watch my streams. Um, yeah, I, uh, you know, I've gotten banned from, uh, a bunch of places because people have, 
uh, fake my name and then go into chat and then start talking shit. So yeah. can't really do anything. I think I was. I think is a lot of it has to do because maybe I was a little too close to like the groups. And so yeah. when they thought that I was, I don't know, becoming famous, they're like, oh, we got to fuck with this guy. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. But it doesn't bother me. It's fine. Like, I don't even care. Honestly, I'm like in most situations, I'm honored. Any Anybody even mutters my name. So fake me uh, uh imitate me do whatever go out there and give give me a bad name i can give a shit less i mean what can i oh i'm oh no i can't i can't super chat shuli ah sorry who cares like bit you know that's to the extent is, um, can i also tell you something yeah I'm here to, uh, this guy, Window Licker, says, I'm here to study it, to go back and do more. Yeah, he's going to go. He's gonna, he wants to learn here. I do, I'm do. i going to put it in chat, the smiley face. If you do the smiley face, everybody will know that's me right there. Yeah. That's a smiley. Yeah. Like, I just put it in chat. So if you see that smiley face, you know, 100% yeah. that's me. Yeah. Yeah. So. I would know it's you because you you're the only, you'd be the only one with a uh, blue ranch. Well, there you go. Now we know. Don't worry. Here, it, let me tell you something. I actually have a fake Jay Hudson. I know. I, have a, I it, fought with him before. But a lot of them, but the thing is, it's like I'm just doing I'm just doing me, and I don't care what people think about. If you don't like me, you don't have to sub to me. You don't have to follow me. You don't have to. You don't have to help. You don't have to support me. Just leave, if you don't like me, leave me alone and let me do my own thing. Sorry. I get that too, you know, um, and that's true. But I'm just saying that, like, really, what I try to do is, I try to take my biggest trolls, and then train them and turn them into my moderators that's my goal most of the time sometimes it backfires fucking blitz you got what you deserved you're a lot thief you're 36 years old and you still live with your mom and dad because Lummy ended your lease on the apartment he's talking about blitz kate uh bubba's former uh bubba's former uh producer that got caught stealing two hundred fifty thousand dollars from bubba through his paypal card Jesus Christ, bro. I mean, yeah. that's a lot of money. Yeah, and you don't you, you, dude, why is he trying to stand with him with a with a PayPal card? Hold on. I, I actually have one. Hold on, let me have it. I have I could show you what a PayPal card looks like. I have one. Yeah, show us your PayPal card. Show us. Show us. Show us, but um, Bubba uh, loves Sponge. Never really watched too much Bubba except for when Opie and Anthony were making fun of him. Actually, I don't think they did, they weren't too hard on Bubba. I think for the most part, they were pretty uh, kind most of them. Get a PayPal card to show you what, what the different uh, looks like. I have one later, I have, I have an old one. Make sure back. you don't show any numbers now. I'm coming back. I got it. Damn it. I need to grab. I need to grab something to stand on. It's okay. We've seen PayPal cards before. You used to lease Lummy's apartment. No, hold on. I have something. You used to lease it. Lummy's apartment. When he did lease it, he wouldn't let Lummy inside, probably because of all the stolen stuff. Yeah, for sure. Sarah had his chance with MLC and he blew it. I sort of did. I don't know why. I kind of wish I'd be invited back.
I like I like KB. I mean, I got nothing against the guy. I'm not a big fan of Stevie Lou. I'd go back. I mean, I'd climb over anybody on BYB to get to MLC. I'll say that I'm much. Dude, you're you're out of breath. Sorry. Hey, what's up? What's up, dude? Don't worry. Sorry, we're I'm running, we're running the show. For you. Okay. Card show is. And, and by the way, it's been de deactivated because that account got banned. Yeah, it happens. So I can show show this one because it, it's deactivated. Stevie Lou is as much a comedian as John Melendez. I agree. And honestly, I'm probably on the same level. So, but I admit it is different. I want to see Stevie. Lou. I want to see some of Stevie's fucking act. <laughs> Yeah, no, Mumbles, you're right. I was invited, um, and I was saying this to Jake right. uh, earlier. I was Sorry. saying, um, no, you're good. I Sorry. was saying, um, I was telling him, I was like, um, the problem is that, uh, that's a PayPal yeah. card. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice PayPal card. That's a PayPal card. It's, it's, it's... Sorry. Thanks, Wendell Lurker. Um, Mumbles, I was uh, I was telling Jake. No, you're good, man. I was telling Jake that um, um, that he that um, Kevin like sends yeah. out the links like last minute, sort of, and like I, it's a little bit difficult for me to. I live with my parents, and like he's also on the East Coast, so his shows start at like 1 p.m. my time, and at the time I wasn't working, but you know for most of my life i am so it's hard for me to get to you know a computer to do this stuff at 1 p.m anyway but he did send me a link a couple times after that and i had to tell him unfortunately i i couldn't i wanted to be there but i couldn't i kept and uh, i was very I, nice sorry. to him too oh. it, um, uh, did you, listen i and i told him he didn't have to pay me I told him. Yeah, that. I, same. The thing is, he's he's paying everybody. He's paying everybody. He doesn't want people to feel left out. No, and and I appreciate that too. Um, yeah, I mean, um, again, I I would like to go on anytime, but again, he, he you know he does his show. It's a little early for me to be able to get there most days. Even BYB starts at five p.m. my time. It's a little hard to even get there so um i'd like to do that more often but unfortunately i now that i have a job it's hard for me to be home at five to start and then after work you're doing three hours it's a it's a grind so i i respect it but um i want to do more i mean i'll i'll yeah, try to do more um, but yeah you know and the thing is it's like i forget that people you know there's a lot of good places in california to do comedy you have uh you know uh you have the podcast is over there you have steve now pocket tennessee right he has a, a place in I, tennessee steve -O. i don't know where he does his have you done the I, uh have you done joe rogan's uh club oh no 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 i've i've only uh, as far as clubs that you might know, I've done open mics only for the most part. Like I've done an open mic at the improv in Hollywood. I've done the open mics at the comedy store. I've never performed like as a, as like a feature or anything at those places. I've opened for Tripoli before and for Adam Ray, but I've never, um, not there. I, I've Would done a, sorry. No, I was, I've done like the Ha Ha Cafe in Hollywood and stuff like that, and like other yeah. alt rooms, but um, never like performed as like a comic at like the major major clubs. Yeah, 
I want to ask this question is, do you think that, uh, by the way, would you ever work with Chad Zumach? <laughs> um, I mean, I'm sort of a Chad Zumach hater. Uh, I've uh, actually sorry, very recent. No, no, don't be sorry. I don't give a fuck. Um, I've recently come a little bit around to Chad, uh, a little bit, but I think he's a fucking phony. I think that he's yeah. a, he's just a, I, I think he lies to himself too much and which means he can't be honest with his audience. And so for those reasons, I think, you know, I don't, I don't like that. I like somebody who can just, just tell like, nobody cares, bro. Nobody cares. I get, again, I live with my parents. Nobody cares. What am I going to say? I'm not going to try to hide that. Make fun of me for it. Oh, well, uh, it's just By hard way, to. Sorry to interrupt. That's Go it. Ahead. I just wanted to say, well, thinks this show is good. Tip the stream. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Mr. Blue Sky. Good guy, Mr. Blue Sky. And, and by the way, I don't know if you have Venmo or you have uh, Dave. I, I do, but don't worry about it. It's fine. Just promote your it, shit. It, don't worry about it. Uh, uh, reason I why I, because if, if I do get uh, Venmo, I would send, uh, I, I, like I told Kevin, if you come on my show, I will. I will treat you with respect. And I'll even give you fifty percent. I appreciate that very much. You don't need to do that. It's it's fine. I very much appreciate that, and the offer is more than enough. Thank you. You don't yeah. have to do that. Just do your show. Dave, you need save your stop. money. Dave, you need to. Stop. This is from Window Liquor. Dave, you yeah. need to start banging female comedians. Sarah Silver, Silverman. Felicia, uh, um, the or Alex, yeah, Felicia from uh, from MLC, yeah, yeah, I, Gillespie. Um, yeah, 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 I gotta find like a, I gotta find a, a fucking uh, sugar mama comedian that will just take me in, and then uh, hey, did let me open for her. Canceled? Did she get canceled? For what? I don't. Blackface. I, I heard she got. I, I Howard did blackface before. Howard did blackface. I know. Um, she might have gone into a little bit of trouble for. Well, here's the thing. The problem right now that's happening in in L.A. is there's Hello? sort of a split. Can you hear me? Sorry. Can you hear me? Uh, it, it, You're good. I can hear you now. Go ahead. Uh, no, I'm just saying. Liberal. Yeah, the the issue right now in like the liberal areas is that there's sort of like this fractioning of people who support the Israeli stuff and people who don't. I'm not gonna get too far into it, but you get what I mean. And there's sort of like this separating here. So like, if you're going too far in one direction. They're starting to, quote unquote, cancel you. But I, she's not being canceled. It's, it's fine. All these people are fine. Yeah, I, I, I understand now. Like, I understand now why people don't like, like you know, Sarah Superman had had a good show. I loved her show. Yeah, and I think she's rather funny for the most part. Her podcast is insufferable, but for the most part, I like I can't even really listen to too many people solo as far as like solo podcasts go anyway. That uh, really the only one I can tolerate is like Tim Dillon. Um, and I watch a little bit of Melton. But as far as like solo yeah. podcasts, I can't really get into it. Like even Theo Vaughn, when he doesn't have a guest on, is a little tough for me. But um, I've always thought she's pretty funny. I don't know. She didn't throw Louie under the bus, which was nice. So, I don't know. It's fine, I guess. I don't I don't even care. Um, Mumble Slam says, what do you think about Ray trying to clown on you for living with your parents when he's living in his dead parents' his friend's basement in a pink room? Not a less. Um, 
me personally, I don't give a fuck if Ray clowns on me or what. I've, I've, uh, I like Ray. I think he's like a decent guy. Um, the as long as Ray's okay with me talking shit to his face, I'm okay with him. Like as long as he's okay with me busting his balls. Here's the thing. Here, here, here's here's the thing for most for most people. This is what's fun. I've always been told from Joe Rogan and Opie and Anthony, like in order to have that green room hang, right? Where you're in the green room, having fun with all your comic friends and busting balls and razzing people. You have to be a comic. That's yeah. but things like this, things like discord, things like podcasting, just hanging out have kind of like fulfilled that void in me because I wanted, that's what I was really craving when I started doing stand up. Yeah. So some of these people, they like some of these comedians, you know, that are, have are established big time comedians. I'm an open micer. If I make fun of them, some of them don't like that. And I don't get that. So like people like Ray DeVito, it, he's been okay. That's fine. He makes fun another, of me. I make fun of him. Yeah. We got another one. Uh, Ray, uh, this is from Window Liquor. Ray doesn't believe in indulging his own family like normal people do, but Ray has a fair game for free house. Like normal people do, but every person Ray has ever met is fair game for free. Oh, okay. <laughs> For free house, he's like, hey, can I can I stay? Hey, hey, it's okay if I just stay over your house for a little bit. Hey, I'll just I'll, I'll, just, I'll just be here for like a week or two. I just gotta use a shower a couple of times. Um, I I was on rock bottom a couple of weeks ago. I haven't been invited back yet. And every time one of my episodes comes on, he always puts it behind the goddamn paywall. But I do like Ray, and I enjoy the uh, only videos go up on pay. On my paywall. They, no, I, they go no, I don't paywall. care. No, no, I don't care. I'm just saying, like, uh, I don't care. Do whatever you the fuck you want with the, the, your content. This is your content. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, I, I've done his show twice, and I enjoy it. And I like uh, Ray. By the way, uh, uh, we do have a we do have a uh, because this guy paid this guy, Jeff Levine is actually sending me some hot sauce and. And he is a five dollar member to my Patreon. I have to promote this, guys. Go check out Silk City Hot Sauce at wow. CityHotSauce.com. AWO at checkout. And uh, Jeff Levine is a good person. And by the way, did you Chad went off on on uh, on on uh, Jeff Levine? And I I told Jeff Levine about. It. He says it's. Uh, um not my surprise. He says he's not surprised with Chad going off on him. And it was the reason what you know mm. the reason why? Because Hopefully not money. Actually, it was because because uh Jeff went with uh made a hot sauce for uh for Carl TP. For Carl oh, and, yeah. and yeah. Carl and that's stick. Yeah. That's fine. That that's that's Chad being Chad, I get it. It, it, it. I'm sure this guy Jeff, that's his name, right? Um, <laughs> crazy. Uh, I'm sure right. he. I'm sure he has a thick skin, and he can take some of the stuff. And I'm sure that he's not offended by Chad Zumok talking shit about who he sponsors for a hot sauce. Sorry. Probably, uh... Sorry, we also had to uh, read read soap dot shop r e i d s o a p dot shop. We er, we don't have a promo code for them, but we do have a candle on the shop on the Double First collection. Nice. Where did I did I delete? Oh, I think this code still works, guys. Go to AreaJane dot com and use code H W O for fifty percent off and free shipping on your first order. You want to hear something funny? Sure. Ray, Ray and Ari are now friends again. Ray and Ari are not are friends again. I don't know. Who, I don't me. know who Ari is. The deodorant lady. 
Oh, the one with the gap. The one with the gap in her yeah, case. Yeah, yeah. In her case. Okay, yeah, cool. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, Ray's a nice Ray, guy. Ray's a nice guy. I love Ray. Ray it's fine. Know. Yeah. But the, the, my biggest thing with the, the, the only thing that I can't tolerate is like, yes, fuck, fuck Rob Saul. <laughs> I hate Rob Saul so much. Uh, the one thing I can't tolerate is your, I'm not saying you, but whoever's inability to be shit on. Stuttering John, Aaron Imholt, even to a certain extent, Chad, Chad Zumog blocked me on Twitter. I've been unblocked since, you know, since then, but Chad Zumog originally blocked me on Twitter for calling him a phony. Like, dude, please, guys. Like, so it's, as long as you're okay with us shitting on you, you're fine in my book. Uh, uh, can I tell you something? I will never block you, but don't try to, uh, uh, the only time you'll, the only time I'll block you is when you bring when you when you say things that are not true, or are are you these people these these fake accounts that come over and say oh Dave or oh, Dave Chandler just gave NLO a thousand dollars, or David Chandler yeah. is giving Chad a thousand. Why is my charger in the garbage? I don't know, but Jake, I'm very sorry. I apologize. I love the show. Please have me on any any time. But I gotta, I gotta knock out, buddy. I'm. All right, love you, brother. Thank you so uh, much. I, hey, Jake. Honestly, anytime you let me know, thank you very much, buddy. I want to try to get right. you on my show too sometime, please. Okay. All right. Thank all you right. to the we'll, chat. We'll, 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 They've been very nice. And also, uh, Dave, Sarah, guys, Dave, Sarah, go check out Dave, Sarah at. Uh, thank you very much. Slash David, David, Sarah. That's your channel name, right? At yeah, David, David Sarah. Sarah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, Jack. Right. Honestly. All right. I've had a great time. Thank you, bud. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You want me to you want me to kick it? Oh, there you go. Thank you. Thank you guys. That was that's been that was actually it's better than it's better than me. Uh um yeah. now I can go pee. Be right back, guys. That was a great show, guys. Guys, if you guys want more, like, subscribe. I, and this will be on the, this will be on Freaker later. I brought it in here so I can get some off of the. Um... Yeah. I want to say thank you guys very much. Guys, um, I want to say thank you guys very much. If you guys want to. That's good, yeah. Guys, if now guys, if you guys want to if you guys want to help the stream, we basically during the birthday stream, we made $325. And during the Kevin Brennan show, we made $44 just in Cash App and a fit uh plus Fifty nine. We made fifty nine dollars. I am a big Steve Wilkos fan. Adam, how you doing, brother? I am a big Steve Wilkos fan. Sorry, guys, if if people don't get offended. I'm I watched Steve Wilkos back. I've been. I remember when Steve was working with um, I remember watching some episodes when Steve helped Steve went to New Orleans to catch criminals 
and, and I want to say thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a rich man. I've, I just want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. This is something that I love doing. I love podcasting. I love coming on here and doing this. And the reason I'm saying I'm still standing is because there are some people that don't like me for some stuff I've said in the past. Someone's doing well. Someone's doing. I need to get that soon. Kevin, if Kevin's watching, can someone ask to see if I can get the, if someone can get me the, someone's doing well, sound drop, I will be indebted to you guys. Because that's, I'm a big fan, you know, someone's, uh, and I just want it every time that someone, um, yeah. Seriously, my twenty-three ounce, my uh, M Arizona raspberry tea is, be, is already been is being shipped right now. Dope to sell. Don't buy, don't buy any drink. It will be here August fifth. Get not a fan. You're just wondering. I'm I'm not. I here here's the thing. Marble people do pe mumble marble marble slam and I love marbles. Um. I just want to, I, I always want to make these shows great because there's people out there that do get offended. I'm not offended at anything. Listen, I've heard every, I've gotten called retarded before. I've gotten called retard. I've gotten called a lot of stuff. I'm not, I'm not offended. I don't get offended easily. You know, there's, there's some people that don't understand when you're, I I don't know if Adam still works for I don't know I'll 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 ask him because because here but what do you, what does people think about Mr. Kill Everything wants to go over and do Sully Network? Yeah, um I want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I want to say thank you. I need to send these two over to email. Who? Oh, I can send. Yeah. Um, yeah, you don't hear it here because I. Adam the old has the he, all right. I'll 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 check with Adam because he, um I really need that I want that sound drop. Um, I don't. I I just want to tell you something, Wendell Looker. I don't call myself a genius because I'm not a genius. 
I have autism, so it um, autism is a superpower. I think I I think it's Brian McCarthy saying someone's doing well. Dude, I you know one of the I also want the uh, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. And yes, and I just did, and and, and, and I could see if I, I could talk to Kate for that about that. Kate might have the sound drops, that sound drop. Yeah, um, I want to say thank you guys so much from for showing up, guys. Um, re, guys, I want you guys to know that um, I love you guys to pieces. I think that this was a great show, and, and I, I might go live later. I don't know. I might go live later. It's just I went live right now. I went live because I. All right, guys. Let me play you guys out with a song. For your, what song I'm gonna play for you? How about? How about an old classic that I did? All right, guys, I will talk to you guys later. I'll see you guys when I see you. Bye for now. Here is, actually, before I'll play a new one that I made, this one is a song that I did for myself. It's called Living Out Loud. All right. I got, uh, before we, uh, here, here. I'm a full-time variety streamer, YouTuber, TikToker, and dreamer. Living with disabilities, that's my story. But I'm chasing my dreams, I'm aiming for glory. Yeah.